and I know this and I and I say this respectfully. This is why when when they added Kevin Durant, it was a cheat code because he's such an intelligent, he's a 7 foot 2 guard and you're just like, bro, there's there there's nothing we can do. There there's and, and again, this is the difference with with LeBron. For those 4 years and even his 8 year stretch where he dominated it's like it didn't matter where he went. It was LeBron, and he was gonna fucking. Now he had Kyrie, he had Kevin, he had D Wade, he had Chris Bosh, he had fucking Ray Allen, he had Mario Chalmers. Mario, Ch- obviously, God bless. He had all of these guys, so it wasn't just him. But he was hyper intelligent, where he could figure out the best way to maximize his teammates and be dominant. When you added Kevin Durant, bro, it was like, bro, we don't have a chance. No one, if they're healthy. And even then, we talk about Kawhi and we talk about what ifs. If two guys don't go down, if one of them goes down, if Clay can play or if KD can play, I don't think Toronto wins that championship. And that's just my my humble opinion. But that's how special they were. And they added, at the time, I would say the second best player in the world. They added their second best player. And, and to his credit, he was intelligent enough. He had the game and he figured it out. And then he became the best player on that team for the for for that that stretch of time. Um, I have a completely separate question. Oh, what? Going, what? Back, going what? back to LeBron, what is your single favorite play as his teammate from that stretch that you just remember? It doesn't have to even be a big game or anything like that. Oh, there's a lot he, to watch him every day. Like I, like the the best player that I'd ever played with because I got Tim Duncan towards the end of his career, and I got Jason Kidd at 28. So Jason Kidd was the best player that I'd ever, because I got to watch him every game. And you're just like, fuck this dude, every night. Like, we see highlights of Jason Kidd and understand, like, the back, the round, the back. He was doing that seven, eight times every single night. So there's only 20, 25 that they show now. But, like, that was over the, like, you could show those 25, and that's what, what you would be over, see, you would see over a, a, an eight-game stretch if you were his teammate. Then I played with Tim Duncan towards the end, and then I got fucking LeBron. And you're just like, bro. His intelligence is so negative. The greatest play that I ever saw, I, I, it, you said it doesn't have to be, it's the block. It's the block because that's game seven. He's played every minute. It's the last possible game. It's the last possible minute. And he does an athletic feat of sprinting back. Split second late, that's a goaltending. Like that, that's, and it's like this dude, you know, Led the series in points, rebounds, blocks, assists, steal in every category. And at the last minute, where he should be gassed, and he, you know, Al Horford talked about it on, I think it was your podcast. I'm not sure who it was. Maybe it was road tripping. It was like he talked. No, it was ours. It was yours. Yeah. He talked. You guys about, don't get a lot of clicks. It's weird. Well, it's weird because <laughs> he's no. First of all, he said this shit. He said this shit a couple weeks ago when we were. Wait, together. what did I say? You said like, ah, oh, it's weird. That I know you were still doing your podcast, but this. I is, didn't no, say yeah, that. Is, I but didn't wait, say wait, 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 wait. This is the thing. Hey, hey, JJ, how's your schedule right now? Fuck you. <laughs> See, you're realizing what I figured out two years ago that I was like, yo, if I'm going to be trying to keep these high level guests and doing this, which you guys do an outstanding job traveling, and that's why I love it. But I was like, yo, that's a lot of fucking grind. And then when ESPN, these, uh, that's a lot of grind. So, yes, we have decided to focus on quality of life, right? Which is cute. You're new here. You just got retired. New you're new here. here. You just got retired. So you're like, oh, I'm going to go travel around and get all the players and now you're like fuck bro so the block is the most amazing thing it's the most amazing singular play and again it like did it win the game i know there's a lot of different things that won the game kevin love stop Kyrie shot a lot of things were contributing but like when i look at plays of any human being that have ever been done and and at the moment they were done i can't think of a bigger defensive play you know the only one and we brought this up in real time when it happened in 2021. The only play non-bucket, mm-hmm. right? Because game winners are another thing. Yeah. But the only play was Giannis's block on, on Aiden, Aiden when Booker threw the lob underhand. What time in the game was it? There was, 40, I think it was... 45 seconds. Yeah, it was right under a minute. It was yeah. a similar time, but it wasn't a game seven. So... It, yeah. That's why I think LeBron's block takes precedence. He also wasn't running all the way back. Yeah, and it was like it was like literally they had a two on one layup. They had and Jr. not fouling, all of that stuff. We hope you had fun with us today. We hope you laughed. <laughs> we hope you had fun with us today. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button.